Yep. All right. So we're live here now with Charlie Reimer. We're here for the second day, second night of the 19th hole here in Myrtle Beach. Charlie, we're gonna go check out Swing Loop now. So let's head over there now. You got it. Hello, Facebook people. So. The golfers hadn't come in yet to the world's largest 19th hole. They're lined up to come on out. So we're going to give you a little tour of uh, maybe four of the 60 vendors that are here today. And let's start with these folks right here. Sean and Phyllis. Hey, I'm Charlie. Nice to see you. Okay, so I see Swing Lube. I see it a lot. What is it? Tell me about it. Uh, what, what, how's it going to help me play better golf? It's going to make you play lots of better golf. We'll take two swings off your golf stroke. Ah, that's got my attention <laughs> right there. So. Yeah. It's an all-natural pain relief product. You applied it at night before and then in the morning when you get up. We have a huge audience in here. This is our fifth year that we've been in here. And they come in, you would, they're like little children when they run to us. And last night. Golfers like little children? <laughs> I don't believe that. Well, one uh, second. I believe so, it. So it's a topical? Yes. But the neatest thing about it is you can apply it, wipe your hands on your clothes like this, pick up a golf club and swing. There's no stain. No, There's greasy. No grease. What about that nasty sort of smell? You know what like I'm talking about? Yeah, I, I, I like eucalyptus. Okay, it smells like eucalyptus. Really? My favorite place on the planet is Kula uh, in Maui. It's halfway up the Haleakala Crater. There's a eucalyptus grove up there. there and every know. time I smell eucalyptus, uh -huh. I think about Kula. It's at about 5,000 feet. That is heaven right there. There you go. So you can let me try it out a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely. I got want, a little bit. You, yeah. got, you want right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me try it out real quick. <laughs> so you put on at night. And then before you go, Your neck. yes, my okay. neck is would be awesome. Okay. And this just sort of works in, and it's it's all natural, no steroids. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm in Kula right now. I love that. And a lot of people, a lot of people think that uh, because it's a topical. Oh, that doesn't do much. But I, I've I've used some topicals before, and it really is effective. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can put that on my five minute relief. Yeah. Yeah, this work this. So my wrists bother me sometimes, yep. knees, yep. Uh, but mostly it's neck and back. Yeah. You'll see. We, you'll walk around. This is something a lot It'll stronger. Right up. And the guys have just caught on to this one. Last night they ran us out. We've got four bottles of it left and we're done. Oh, that. I like hearing that. <laughs> well, cool. Really good stuff. Now, where can the folks that are watching on Facebook Live now, where can they go to buy Swing Lube? Well, it's starting to now tri trickle into your pro shops. Okay. And then you can also find us online at my-dab.com. My-dab.com. Yes, sir. A little dab will do you. I guess I can't <laughs> say that. Uh, I want to tell you what, I'm feeling good already. Yeah, you took me to Maui. Really, really good stuff. So I certainly appreciate it. Sean Phyllis, thanks for your time. Uh, I'm gonna wish, uh, it sounds like I don't need to wish you good luck with the product because the folks are lining up getting it. There you go. Cool. It's over the top. Well, thank you very much. You're more than welcome. All right, great. Thank nice you. to meet you guys. All right, thanks a lot. All right, I'm going to give it, I got a little sample right there. So uh, that's really cool stuff. All right, so where are we headed next? Thanks, guys. Okay, so. Let's go check out Bob Sagini with True Blue Caledonia Golf Course. Oh, that's perfect. You can see we got uh, just about anything here in the world you might need to get you ready to get out and play a little bit of golf. And uh, some of the great vendors we've got. So we are looking for Bob Saganti. I think I see him right over here. Hey Bob, what's up? Hey Charlie, how are you? Good. We got Facebook Live going right now. Great to see you. How are things going? Things are awesome, man. We're super psyched here at the uh, world's largest 19th hole. We're giving away a three-night, four-round golf trip through Blue of Caledonia. Four rounds of golf, it's worth 3000 bucks. Wow. So we're happy to do that. Well, I, I tell you what, I want to tell our viewers, the folks at, at Caledonia and True Blue are amazing. Every year, my colleague at Golf Channel, Kelly Tillman, and I, we do a fundraiser for the first tee here in Myrtle Beach. And uh, the folks give us, yes, I said give us Caledonia for our event. And so you can imagine uh, what that does to our bottom line. And it's, it's really a neat day because the entire industry here in town 
comes out and participates in the event. At the end of the day, the kids that go to public schools here are the ones that win. So we, we really appreciate your generosity, and we're going to be coming back for a long time to do that event. Good. I know on behalf of the ownership group, they really appreciate you and Kelly, Golf Channel, coming down, and certainly all the local support from the first tee. So we're, we're happy to do that and humble to do it, really, because it's an important event, and it's a great way for all to everyone in the industry here to get together and enjoy a little fellowship. Well, I, I got to tell you, um, every time I come to Caledonia, and I've only been over to True Blue once, but it really is one of the most spectacular golf courses you, you'll ever play. You, you guys need to work on that entrance a little bit, though. <laughs> uh, the entrance at Caledonia is, is the only, there's only one entrance in golf, and that's up in Georgia a little bit farther that, that competes with the entrance at Caledonia. But uh, it's just a spectacular place. I'm sure the reaction you get from all the folks that play both golf courses is off the charts it, it, it's it's really uh again it's humbling it's amazing it's a pleasure to talk to everybody the comments user are, are outstanding mike strands who designed both golf courses of course passed several years ago but did an amazing job with both properties and the entrance to caledonia is fantastic it just blows mm -hmm. everybody away the thing we love about it right we're open to the public everybody's welcome you mm -hmm. know as we say hashtag all are welcome. So we encourage everybody to come over and play golf or just visit, you know, check out our dining establishments, come have a drink on the back porch. No Always place like it. Time. Always a good time. Yeah, watching the sun either go up or come down in that part of the world is, is a lot of fun. You mentioned Mike Strantz. Um, he, he was uh, an amazing golf course architect. And, and uh, uh, for fans of the PGA Tour, uh, the Monterey Peninsula Country Club is one of the golf courses that they use in AT&T every year. And uh, Mike redid uh, the short course there at, at, at Monterey, and it's it's one that, that the players absolutely rave about. And um, Mike Strand certainly left us way too soon. He really did, and uh, but Wax, we were really honored and humbled to host uh, a memorial tournament that he puts on to help uh, University of South Carolina, the Medical University down there in Charleston, to uh, help combat uh, cancer. So we raised quite a bit of money for that this year too. So we're we're, we're excited about that. And again. You know, we're, we're just happy to do what we can in the community. We're, we're honored to the staff and myself, everybody who works there, to be able to represent some great properties. And the ownership really stands behind those properties and uh, still put a lot of money in the property and trying to prove it. And, you know, we really want to welcome everyone in Caledonia and True Blue. Well, let, let's finish with this. Um, the, the prime time to get on Caledonia and True Blue, March and April? Well, I mean, you know, spring season is the season in Myrtle Beach, but, you know, like anything, it's changed. You know, we stay busy throughout the year, so, I mean, we've got seasonal rates and things going on throughout the year. We've got our vacation company here at Caledonia Golf Vacation. So there's, you know, fall golf is great. You know, September and October, some say there's about best months in Myrtle Beach. So we welcome everybody year-round. If you're going to come in the spring, you better do the booking right now would be my recommendation. And, and, and where do they go to do that? Well, they can go to, uh, they can just Google us at Caledonia Golf. They can go to CaledoniaGolfVacations.com or TrueBlueGolf.com. You can find us anywhere on the web. Bob, thank you very Charlie, much. Charlie, you look fantastic. All right. Good luck to you. Can we go over that part one more time? Sure. Which part do you want to go to? Not me looking fantastic. No, you look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you True Blue, awesome. Caledonia. Great golf courses. Great folks. Thanks again, guys. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate All right, it. Man. All right. Okay, so we're going to wander around just a little bit more. We've got uh, some good chow coming down here tonight. And I'm telling you, they are lined up right outside uh, trying to... Uh, get in here and uh, when, when the golfers get in this thing is going to be buzzing so pretty cool to give you guys a, uh, a nice little tour before uh, all the folks come in and uh, here he is this is this is my rock star friend here Dennis Nickel who is uh, director of golf at uh, Dunes Beach and Golf Club golf or Golf and Beach, and beach Club I get, I get golf and beach. First, beach they got, so you go to the Dunes by the way <laughs> I play let me get you a hook up oh, here there. Dennis I, I had a chance to play over there today and uh, so you guys got golf and the beach, so oh, I, yeah. I guess that's how you came up with, with the name, right? The golf and Beach Club. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. makes sense now. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, th there's so much to like about, about your golf course. But I'm going to tell you what, the greens absolutely blew me away. Perfect, uh, they're yeah. just absolutely in perfect shape. Yeah, Steve Hamilton, our superintendent, they do a great job. And we just hosted the USGA Women's Amateur Four Ball Championship this May. They were running about 12 and a half, 13 on the stint, and we've just kept them that way all summer. So they're just perfect out there. So. Yeah, and, and you guys have so much history at, at Dunes. Um, you, you have a lot of people don't realize Old Q School was yeah. there. I miss yeah, Old Q Crenshaw School. Got his card. And Crenshaw. Yeah. There, there's quite a few top Gilbert players that yeah. came through and yep. got, got their card. And then, of course, uh, the, the uh, senior 
senior tour championship. Yeah, uh, in the 90s, yeah how many? How many years? Six years. Six years? Ninety-four to ninety-nine. The, yeah. the only thing that bothers me about that is uh, Gary McCord won it one year. <laughs> that makes it a little bit suspect. But His picture uh, is on the wall. Of the archives at the Dunes. Uh, Believe that. Yeah. Yeah. He he's yeah. he's certainly a very good friend and, and an underrated player. But uh, a, a lot of history you guys have there. Um, looking down the road in the future yeah. what kind of big events are you guys maybe looking to attract nothing on the on the table right now we're obviously we're talking but uh we want to kind of give the club back to the members we've had a pretty good run with the pga uh, professional national championship we had the southern amateur we've had the women's floor ball uh, we renovated the greens back in 2013 put in the champion bermuda that you played on so i think we're going to take a couple years uh you know and, and let the members play their course and then we'll, we'll see where it goes from there now i would say it's hard to say you got a signature hole but but a hole that probably gets most discussed the first part five on the back nine is it 12 or 13? 13. Yeah. 13. Yeah. Um, it, it's if the wind is right, you can get there. And two, the wind wasn't right today. Yeah. Really, really cool part five. Walk, walk me through that part five. Well, it's nicknamed Waterloo, and it's because like Napoleon's Waterloo, where many a person have had a good round going into that that hole and then just failed miserably. Because if you don't play it smart, you just you know it's a long way. It's 640 yards right now, par five. You're going to lay up to the water uh, just in front of Lake Singleton. Your second shot has to go across the water, and then the third shot in. Well, everyone thinks the water's a problem. Well, 100 yards and in, we got a double tiered green surrounded by bunkers, so you might have navigated. The water okay and you still make a seven on the hole no, so I, uh, I made six today i navigated oh, the water just yeah. fine then i three putted i actually saw the largest gator i've ever seen in my life in the wild out there today yep. is that yep. like your pet gator yeah yeah we have a few out there we had about 10 there this spring but we have one that's he's got a little cut above his eye yeah Ooh, yep, yeah, yeah there, that one i saw today yeah, he had big, a, yep. a legit 12 feet yeah, so pretty close yep so okay so for folks that are watching now on facebook live if they want to come play dunes golf and beach club how, how do they get access to to your golf course. Yeah, well, we are private, but there are some ways you can gain access. Obviously, number one, playing with a member, be guest a member. Uh, second is if you're a member of another private club someplace else in the country, your head professional can call and, and uh, book a tee time for you, a reciprocal round. And the third way is if you stay at one of our partner hotels in town, we have a, a number of hotels you can book through and uh, on a golf package. So uh, just ask wherever hotel you're staying at, ask the concierge desk or the golf department if you could book the Dunes Club and certainly you can book there. So. Is there a place folks can go on the internet to find out ahead of time you know, what hotels to book to have access? Because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, if you're coming to Myrtle Beach, you want to play Dunes. It's absolutely worth it. Yeah, the main, the main hotel partner is MyrtleBeachGolf.com. That'd be a great place to start. Golf Holiday, obviously, you go to Golf Holiday website. They can they can point you in the right direction to, to the main hotels. And, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's a great way to play, and uh, and certainly we welcome those guests who want them to be a member for the day. So, Well, Dennis, we certainly appreciate it. Appreciate it, yeah. Thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. Dunes, Golf, and Beach club yeah it's worth the trip national memberships for sale that's what we're selling oh yeah. national got yeah i'm sorry i, I can't i got that disease i can't i can't reach the back pocket <laughs> i this doesn't get the there ball, ball, okay. yeah. I, I'll, I'll certainly take our it our membership down. director brooke greenwood bill owens our, our membership committee chair and we're selling some national memberships and great deals here to, to join the dunes club so if you're live outside the four surrounding states give us a call you yeah. got a great deal to be a member at the dunes club that's awesome if you're looking for a private club and you want to go to the best you got to start right here that's it all right guys thank Thanks. you very much Appreciate it. All right, thanks. The greens were rolling today now. How are you, sir? Hey, Good Chris, to see how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. So who do we have now? Who are we going to see? Gianna. Oh, we're going to see Gianna. Yeah, Gianna. Okay, yeah. Gianna, you'll see, is absolutely, we're doing a little Facebook Live right now. Yeah, so Gianna, you guys will see, is absolutely spectacular. Uh, she just needs maybe a little more passion for golf and life. Where's Gianna? Where did she go? Gianna's running around. What'd you do? Run Gianna off? She no. Golf yeah. She said she had to practice racing. So Gianna is practicing racing. There she is over there. Okay. We got to get her in. Hey, Gianna! Gianna! Come on! Here she comes. Check out these shoes. Can you zoom in on these shoes right here? Here she comes. I'm going to tell you what, Gianna is an absolute mess. Never seen her where she just didn't have a huge smile on her face. Come on, Gianna. Come on. I'll be with you just one second. Yes, sir. I'm on doing a Facebook Live right now. Come on in, Gianna. Are you trained to run that thing? I just got stuck over there. All right, come on, Gianna. We got a Facebook Live going right now. Don't, don't run over us. 
Okay, so I promised our viewers yes. that you're going to have a horrible attitude and you never smile and you're never happy. Are you going to live up to that? All the time. <laughs> Stump bump, I like to call it. All right, so here, let's clip this on. Okay. And we're live right now on Facebook. Gotcha. And so tell me what's going on here. You know, I'm looking over and I'm seeing, you know, adapted golfers, golf for all different abilities. I can sort of guess where we're going with this, but what are you doing here? What's the message you're trying to get out? Well, Charlie, first of all, thank you for taking a moment. Um, I know we've talked about this before, but what I am basically trying to do is be an ambassador and a spokesperson for people who have different abilities. Mm -hmm. I don't like to say disabilities. Mm -hmm. Despise the word. Nothing should be dis. Um, and I try to help inspire people that have challenges, cognitive, physical, sensory, health and age related, we all have illness, illnesses and injuries, mm -hmm. to try to get out of bed and out of their head and use golf as a therapeutic tool to get you out. Yes. Because if you think about it, the ball doesn't care and the hole doesn't care if you roll it with your nose. Exactly. Or how many strokes it takes you to get there. Yeah. It's up to you. Golf is an individual sport. You can play by yourself. So, you hit, a, hit a bad shot, a linebacker's not going to nail you. So how are you reaching folks that... You know, maybe they're alone. You know, they're sitting at home right now. They're looking for a way to engage. They, they want to engage socially. They want to find something to do. And I'm thrilled that you're bringing them to golf. Thank you. Um, but because golf brings people together like nothing else. Yeah. So, so how are you finding people? How are you engaging them? Well, um, what we're doing is we're kind of starting at the grassroots of a lot of this. Um, we're trying to reach out to PGA instruction professionals or mm -hmm. just golf instruction, physical therapists, rehabilitative specialists, rehabilitative hospitals. Um, do a lot of work with the United States Adaptive Golf Alliance, which is a global initial effort to try to help reach out to not just veterans, but also non-veterans. Mm -hmm. So that the services and the resources that are amazing and the initiatives that are amazing and need to be focused. I'm kind of like at the liaison. Okay. Because I'm out there representing the golfer and what me, the golfer, needs. Because nobody yeah. is saying, hey, Miss One Handed Lady, I can teach you to play golf. Nobody said that to me. Nobody's mm -hmm. marketing to me. Each of these initiatives are extremely important, but I kind of have taken upon the ambassador role of, mm. for both because I'm collaborating with these organizations. And I'm bringing that down to me, the golfer, to know that, hey, whatever you need, if you're in the service, there's PGA Hope, there's Folds of Honor, there's yeah. Brace of the Brave. I mean, there's so many opportunities there to try to help you get out of bed and out of your head. Yeah. And, and the veterans is a perfect example. And as you probably have heard, these guys and, ga and gals, they, they give their life, they give up their family, they give up their careers, they give up their friends. They go away to serve our country something catastrophic happens to them and they come back not only with the physical challenges but they have they have the cognitive challenges and a lot of them the cognitive challenges get the best of them yep so if you give them an opportunity once or twice a month to go meet the rest of their fellow veterans like-minded people they're not, we're not in this alone we're not in this alone yeah. and one of the things i really talk about is that golf has saved a bunch of those guys lives I know quite a few stories that it has it's, it's the very the best movie. thing that golf does it, but without it a doubt it happened just with the veterans and I believe yeah. that's where I come in as an ambassador because I'm not talking about one particular demographic or group I'm trying to be the ambassador and say listen one-handed lady that was born this way I don't fit into the PGA hope although I'm guilty by association but I'm not a veteran uh, my daughter's Marines, my dad's Navy. Um, I am associated with a lot of organizations that are veteran specific, but then I'm also part of the One Arm Conference Association. I have an arm. The Blind Amputee or Blind Association or the Amputee Association, I, I don't fit into any of those. So there's where that demographic of people that they might not even know. Yeah that there's a way to get out there and do well, it. Well, let me let me finish with this. Sure. Okay, so there's somebody that's watching this right now and they're going, "You know what? I have got a neighbor. I've I've got I've got a cousin, I've got a, an uncle, a child, and a child, and you know what? They they want to engage. Yeah. And and we know if they don't engage, they're not going to get in a good spot with their mental health." Right. 
and this sounds perfect. I want to get them involved in golf. How do they do? Is there a place they go? Is there a website? Is there somebody well, they call? How do you engage that person? What I'm what I'm looking to do right now is to really build a bigger network of not only resources because I, I need the resources and we need people like Darren from Double D Academy that can get out there and teach adaptive golf. Mm -hmm. So we're starting at the grassroots. We're doing an adaptive golf summit. This will be our second one where we're bringing in those people. We're bringing up an adaptive golf trainer, teacher, David Windsor, who is with the Adaptive Golf Association and the Georgia Association of Accessible Golf. I mean, he, he's the PGA Patriot teacher. Yep. So he's going to teach people like Darren from Double D to, to be able to teach adaptive golf. Once we get them, then we can start really marketing in on parents that have child, children with special needs. If we can get one of their kids to get out on the Junior Golf League, the PGA Junior Golf League, inclusively, because that's a team. Yep. Not only does the child who gets the challenge get the benefit, but so do the other three kids now are going to perceive people with different abilities, not disabilities, for the rest of their life. So this is way bigger than just one specific demographic, and that's where I think it's helpful that I don't have an initiative. I'm not selling a product, instruction, a service. I'm not talking about one specific resource. I'm trying to marry the resource and educate not just people that have challenges, but people, everybody has a challenge. Yep. You've got health and you've got injuries and illness that happen. You have aging that happens. You might have a weaker grip. I have, when you have more time, I'll show you all my toys mm. that you saw. <laughs> that one is not good. For If you've never driven it before, it's a little touchy. <laughs> um, but I hear there's a challenge out there for you, a race in that later. Well, I don't know about it. That's a surprise <laughs> for me. But, John, I just want to thank, thank you. you. I appreciate your passion. I appreciate what you're trying to do. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you very much. Thank Thanks. you. That wraps us here for now the Myrtle Beach World Am.